Hi, Celine. It's Michelle. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, I miss our tutoring session, so I wanted to read you a story. Um, and uh, this one is also written by your favorite author, Anne Hearth. Um, so the story is Don't Hurt It, written by Anne. Flit, flit. A moth fluttered against the inside of the window. Tara watched. Flop, flop, flip. The moth was creamy brown. Its antennae, antennae looked like tiny feathers. Calvin ran into the room looking for his shoes. What are you watching? He asked. Terrell pointed. A moth. Calvin said, I'll get rid of it. He raised his hand to slap the moth. No, Terrell said. Calvin glanced at Terrell. No, he asked. Don't hurt it, Terrell said. The moth saw its chance. It fluttered away from the window. It landed on the ceiling. Its wings opened and closed. Calvin shrugged. Hey, Mom, he called. I'm going out. He left. Terrell lay on the floor. He looked at the moth. It had one black dot on each wing that looked like eyes. Ebony wandered in with a book. She sat on the couch. The moth fluttered from the ceiling. It fluttered over Ebony's open book. Yuck, she waved her hand. Go away. The moth landed on a page of her book. Ebony started to flick it with her finger. No, Terrell yelled. Don't hurt it. Ebony turned to look at Terrell. The moth saw its chance. It fluttered away. It landed on the window curtains. Terrell moved close to the moth. Its body was bloody. Black, shiny eyes looked at him. Whoosh, zoom, whoosh. Mom came in with a vacuum cleaner. She vacuumed under the chairs and under the tables. She moved closer to ends. Oh, you don't belong here, she said to the moth. She raised the vacuum cleaner hose. She moved it towards the moth. No, yelled Terrell. What, said mom? Don't hurt it. Mom turned off the vacuum. Okay, then take the moth aside. Terrell crept closer to the moth. It's not, not safe for you here, he whispered. Up his hand on it. Moth's wings tickled his palms. Terrell carried the moth downstairs and outside. He opened his hands to free the moth. The moth was still for a minute. It opened its wings and closed them again. You're welcome, Terrell said. The moth flew away. I hope you enjoyed the story, Celine, and I will uh, record more new in the upcoming weeks. And I look forward to. I'm speaking to you again and having you read some stories to me. So um, I will talk to you later. Have a great week.